This is part 9 of the basic Python programming tutorial for new and intermediate Blender users. I'm using version 2.63a on a Windows 64-bit system. Alright, so in the previous lesson we looked at modifying the points of the mesh. Now in this lesson we'll take a closer look at what to do with this data once we have it in here. So notice we picked it up from the template and they, the name of it was bmeshsimple.py. So obviously in that case it's a piece of information that's stored in the system and so you, we have access to it. But sometimes you're working and let's get a new text block. And instead of calling this bmesh simple, that doesn't tell me enough about it. So just like I said, you know, you want to make your variables logically uh, logical and your and your comments logical, you want to make your code name logical as well. So we'll start a new text block and we'll call it, um, I don't know, let's call it increment first vertex dot pi like that all right and we'll put it in there and I'll go back over here to be mess simple I'll just grab all this here like this I'll come over here to this one and I'll paste it in like that all right so and instead of this saying this we'll say this example assumes we have a mesh object ex selected and we'll also comment this and uh, Let's see, increment the first ver vertex in the mesh, like this. All right, so that's that's what it does. And so we have it saved here. But it's this is saved within the program. So if I was to save this program, I have this at tutorial number nine, I go file, save. All right, so it's saved it there. And then, then I can get rid of this one. I take B mesh simple and I'm going to click the X and unlink it because I don't really need it anymore because now I have a, a better named object. But then if I was to say reopen, open recent tutorial 9, well, there it is. And if I run the program now, there it is. It modifies the mesh. Okay, great. So, but the other thing I want to do, this piece of code is now part of this tutorial, Python Tutorial 9. But sometimes I want to reuse the code. So in the earlier lessons we were grouping blocks of code into functional blocks so they became little functions and that helps. Later on we will make them into classes as well. We'll put the functions within classes. But there's another th way to keep your code organized is to put your put code blocks into files and just like this is a file but sometimes I want to reuse it in another application and in order to do that you want to be able to save this file so you want to go over here to text and I want to save as and I'm going to save as my Python tutorials and increment first vertex and I'll save it there so now I have the file saved distinctly from this particular code so if I was to just say you know, file new like this and move over here to this block like this. And I all have is this cube in the scene, nothing to it. Then I can go into text and open a text block and go back to that directory. And now I have that code within this application here. Let me control zoom in like this. And I'll just maybe add with menu shift A, I'll add a icosphere to the scene here. Press the DEL key, zoom in like this. And well, you know, if you don't follow my other lessons, I'm just I just don't do anything without giving things colors. <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. Alright, so and we'll move it up a little bit. So there it is in the scene. And so then in this same case, then I can use this same code but it applied to the active object because this is looking at the active object when you say this BPY context object data is looking at the active object that's selected in a future lesson what we're going to do is we're going to pick up objects by name that way well I'll discuss that here in a second so let's run this so we can run this actually you can just press alt P since my run button is out of the way like this and I can't see it there my run script I can press alt P Oops, nope, hang on, can't do that. It's, uh, oh no. Yeah, I'm sure it's Alt-P. It is. Oh yeah, my mouse is in the wrong window. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Alt-P. Alright, and so if you look close, there it is. I modified the first vertex within that icosphere right there. 
So basically it allows me to reuse this code. So a lot of times when I work, what I do, I create little functional blocks of code. It kind of like represents a function in and of itself. Notice there's no main in here, no separate thing, but it is like a little encapsulated function. And then I can just use it as will because the beauty of Blender is that, you know, well, maybe I come over here, I click this object manually, I go into edit mode, I grab this vertex and I move it like this. All right, or I come over here and I do the exact same thing or something different within the code. So it gives you, it's such powerful flexibility. It's just unbelievable. All right, so keeping your code organized like that is really a powerful way to, you know, have a lot more fun. <laughs> so it's a powerful way to make your code better. All right, well, all right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.